What's up, everybody, and welcome to my TNA Impact Wrestling Review. Or tonight, I don't know, I don't, well, might as well be known as Championship Thursday tonight. And tonight, we got a lot of things happening for the Championship Thursday match tonight. Matches, mostly all the titles were on the line. We pretty much uh, kicked it off tonight with Rob Van Dam versus Zima Ion for the X Division title. Uh, it was pretty much a real quick match. Van Dam pretty much hit it, hit the Rolling Thunder, won the fast off, hit the fast off Frog Splash, won the match. Then pretty much Matt Morgan came out and carbon footprinted RVD, and Joey Ryan was right out there with him, pretty much getting on the mic saying that Hulk Hogan like want to see a different side of him. This is like the different side to him now for uh, Matt Morgan. So we still don't know why Matt Morgan is with. Joey Ryan, no. Uh, other stuff's happening tonight. Christopher Daniels and Kazarian, uh, they they still call themselves the World Tag Team Champions of the World. Pretty much won in a rematch against Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez. Pretty much mad at what happened in Bound for Glory, calling pretty much illegal immigrants and saying they got screwed at Bound for Glory and they want their rematch and want everybody to sign a contract. But Chavo Hernandez pretty much got in the mic. Uh, they pretty much tell him that if you want to, yeah, like I guess like fight for next week or fight a turn point for the tag team titles, you got to earn your shot. Pretty much was a big shoving match then. Uh, pretty much Taz and Daniels getting out of range. Chavo and Hernandez pretty much knocking him out of there. Uh, Hulk Hogan making his pick between the four people for the match tonight who will face Jeff Hardy for the world title. Austin Aries pretty much out of the window making fun of him and it was between Anderson, Bully Ray, James Storm, and Kurt Angle. Pretty much Anderson the first to go saying like it's not ready and kind of mess with him said he wants another title shot but he didn't want any handouts and everything so Hogan just got rid of him then and pretty much Austin Aries was out there waiting for Anderson pretty much say who's the bigger asshole now and pretty much Yeah, he threw some water in Anderson say Anderson pretty much beat the hell out of him then right there beating the hell out of Austin Aries Other stuff that happened Samoa Joe versus Robbie T for the uh, Television title real quick match pretty much like a two-minute match really pretty much Robbie T tried to get on the apron tried to distract them and Joe pretty much hit the the choke on Robbie T picking up the win. Real real quick matches between the X Division and the television title. Like yeah, I know it's Championship Thursday, but did it have to go that quick? Other stuff that happened. Devon talking with the Aces and Eights. They talked with the Aces and Eights. Who are they gonna take out tonight? Who will they take out? Pretty much everybody's picture is on the. The wall right there, and he just threw, I don't know what Aces and H members threw a dart, wondering who are they going to get tonight. Anderson won a shot against Austin Aries. Anderson went against Aries. Max was going to, like, I, he, uh, Anderson found brass nuts from Aries, and the ref took him away. Max pretty much kept on going, and Anderson was able to get the nuts then. The brass nuts was going to knock him with it, but... The ref saw it, took it back from him, and pretty much Austin Aries taking his own brass, another pair of brass knuckles, knocking Anderson out cold, trying to put him on top of the thing to get the win, then kicking out, and then pretty much putting the last chance, three, even though Mr. Anderson was knocked out, and pretty much won the match, because the ref pretty much lifted his arm, he was out cold. Brooke Tessmacher versus Tara for the knockouts title, the whole Jesse guy was out there. It was somewhat of a quick match. The match happened. Tara threw Tess Mocker out of the ring. The Jesse dude pretty much threw her back in the ring. Tara hit the Widow's Peak, won the match. They were pretty much out there. Brooke Hogan says next week. So it's open fight night is next week. ODB challenged this this Jesse guy, what whatever he is, big brother, I, I don't know, to a match, I believe, next week. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, yes, Joseph Parks. <laughs> yes, Joseph Parks. Say so they can find a clue about um about Aces and Eights, but Hogan didn't really want to deal with Joseph Parks that much. Anymore. He's kind of become a liability a little, because he could be keep getting hostage by Aces and Eights. 
and we don't know what will happen next. So, I don't know what will happen if H is an H tries to get Joseph Parks again, and Hogan's just trying to wrap his right mind. What's he gonna do? Bully Ray was the next one to go from Hogan. Hogan got rid of him because he's too worried on Devon. He went to the ring, called out Devon. Devon, the other Aces and H came out. Pretty much Bully Ray cutting a promo on him. Talking about how Devon says the fans suck over the years. How the machine guns were the only ones able to beat 3D. Kicking out of the 3D, Team 3D, kicking out of the 3D move. And pretty much Devon didn't even care about him. And he said he wasn't dealing with this. And he's saying the world revolves him. Bully Ray really pretty much wanted to kick his ass. And next week, he's challenging Devon to open fight night. He wants to kick his ass next week. No aces and eights. Just them two in the ring next week beating the hell out of each other. Other stuff. Uh, this Christian York guy for a gut check next week. Uh, the new gut check guy. I don't know. He looks like Joey Mercury a little, but he says he's tagged with Joey Mercury. I don't know if he's been in TNA before, but um, they said he was there, I believe. Pretty much not really sure, but uh, we'll see what happens with, with uh, Gut Chet next week with this. Um, Christian York, his name is, people. Matt Morgan in the back with Joey Ryan talking about, you know, trying to take out the X Division, I guess. Morgan says he doesn't want to do anything. Hogan says he's doing his own way now with Joey Ryan, but doesn't really explain why he's with Joey Ryan. Main event match for the night. Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy for the World Heavyweight Championship. Why does Jeff Hardy have two belts? Why? You got the regular TNA World Heavyweight title, and now you got the TNA Custom Made Jeff Hardy World Title match. Real good match at the end. Real good match. A lot of this is awesome chance. I thought this was one of the best matches out of the night between Jeff Hardy and Kurt Angle. Non-stop action right here tonight, people. I thought Kurt almost had when he hit the angle slam on him. Jeff Hardy keep doing these stunner twist of fates. Pretty much that angle bleeding from the mouth. But um, Jeff pretty much hit him with a roll-up there, a small package. Kurt tried to go for another power bomb, but Jeff flipped it over, got the pit. Excuse me. Got the pin over Kurt Angle. Win the match. Still retaining the world heavyweight title. Then Austin Aries came out. To hit Jeff Hardy with one of the belts. So he wants to challenge him at turning point for the world heavyweight title. But not Jeff's, not the custom title. The real world heavyweight championship. And pretty much they cut a camera to the back. Ace and Ace fight beating up Kurt Angle in. Pretty much Garrett Bischoff and that, whatever is that, Briscoe dude that's been showing up. For the save, pretty much ended off the show. It was kind of weird switching the commentary. You got JB and this um, Todd. I forgot what his name was. I don't know the other commentator that well. And in the second hour, we put Taz and Mike to Nate. It was kind of strange how they switched up the commentary. Somebody kind of explained to me that. But overall, for Championship Thursday tonight, real good show. I thought one of the biggest highlights of the match was pretty much the World Heavyweight title for Jeff Hardy and Kurt Angle. Watch out for open fight night next week. Uh, this was a good championship Thursday tonight. I liked the whole show, most of it. Even though some of the title matches were really kind of short. Except for the world title, really. But I'm going to end the show off right here. Once again, you know it's me. It's me, the H -O -O -D, With the colors, it's Blue Impact Wrestling Review. So, comment, subscribe. You know what I am. You know what I do. Keep watching the show. Keep checking other videos. And hell, probably get some Hell in a Cell live reactions this Sunday. So I'm going to see you guys later. I'm out of here. Peace.